Good morning. It is April 16th. Temperature outside is plus 5 Celsius. Supposed to get up to 16 Celsius. In Fahrenheit that is 43 to 63 Fahrenheit. In the previous video I mentioned how I was going to make a sawdust glue concoction for a wood filler. Unfortunately I did other fixes on the bus since then. I'll show you what I did. Holy crap, that is bright. Let's get you down here. There we go. All the rivets along the sides of the bus. I drilled them all out, lifted up that top skin of the roof, put some caulking underneath, then put rivets in again. Now, the problem is, we're going to get extremely dark. I had a major, major leak in this window. As you can tell, I still have one. That is because, let's see if we can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there in the middle. That's a rivet. It didn't seal properly. So, I went out and I bought this. white because I'm going to be painting the roof white and also this is paintable as well so I can paint over top of it if I don't if the color doesn't quite match up with the uh, elastomeric paint I'm going to be using so the plan is get you dark again spray paint over all the rivets and also wherever there's a seam I'm going to be cleaning out, not sure if you can see that caulking right around here somewhere. I'm going to be cleaning out all that old caulking and giving that a spray throughout the entire roof. But as you can see by all the moisture, I can't do it just yet. I have a lot of washing and cleaning to do first anyway. Over here is pretty dirty, I got a lot of caulking. So I'm going to have to clean all that up first. Oh, wrong way. So let me get to the cleanup and preparing the surface for paint. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy outside and I'll bring you outside and I'll show you what I'm doing. So hang tight and see you in a couple hours or seconds, whichever comes first. Sorry I didn't take you outside to show you what I was doing. It was pretty windy out there and I didn't want to put the camera on the tripod and have the camera fall over. Let me show you what I've done. And I'll, exp and I'll explain what I did. Holy crap, that's bright. Wrong way, wrong way. There we go. So what I ended up doing is I took that spray can and I got really close to the rivets. I mean about two inches away and I just sprayed the entire thing. I did one window at a time and I just sprayed it across the, oh I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to the other side. I'm getting blinded by the sun. Okay, let's try this again. That's not any better. Ooh, that's the darkest it's getting. Wow. Hold on a sec, let me change some settings. Alright, settings changed. So what I did is I sprayed very thick on the top row, then I ver sprayed very thick on the bottom row, then I took a roller and I rolled it. Some it doesn't look too terribly well good actually. It's quite bad. But this is only a temporary seal until 
Until, until, until. Until I get the roofing, uh, the last American paint up there. But most of these rivets, not sure if you can see that. They still, I still have to come by with silicone and plug those holes. I'm not trusting them. The, print, the paint didn't do what I was hoping it would do. They made it sound like an expanding paint. Sort of like a spray foam kind of thing. And as you can see, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, I can still see through. And now I have to go to the store and pick up some white silicone so I can fill these holes. Probably, I don't know, will I come back today? I don't know. It's like 1.30 right now. So now I go to have to go to the store and back, which is about an hour. My brother lives out of the city, how good is that? And then, 2.30, I might wait till tomorrow, we'll see. I gotta have lunch too. I haven't eaten yet. So hang tight and see you soon. I've decided I will call it a day. I have a few things I have to pick up at the store. And like I said, it's a half hour drive just to get there. Shopping, coming back. It'll be too late by the time I get back to do any real work. So that's it for today. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Good afternoon. It is April 18th. Currently it is minus 15 Celsius outside, which is 63 Fahrenheit. 15? Nope, 59 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Anyway, today we're finally getting around to filling in the holes in the countertop and the joints of the wood paneling. I guess you can call it paneling. Yeah, why not? So let's take a look at this stuff. In the countertop, I have to fill in all of these little holes. Reason being, it, reason being is that when I go to do the epoxy, I don't want the epoxy to go into this hole and it may look like it's filled but it could travel all the way down the uh, lumber and just take a lot more epoxy or in some cases it could go all the way through and it'll just keep dripping and that's well pretty much useless so I need to fill in all of these little holes there's one spot over here I don't have to fill in this is about roughly where the sink is going, not sink, sorry, the stove. But I'm still going to fill it in anyway because reasons. Then over in the window area, I have spots like that to fill in, little joint like that to fill in, all of this to fill in. So I'll set you up on the tripod and we'll start mixing this stuff together. It's not very complicated. Some people would argue that I'm doing it wrong, but wrong is relative. Everybody has their own way of doing things. So we need a container. We need a mixing utensil. Need glue, need some water, and sawdust. The sawdust I'm using isn't real isn't sawdust from a saw. This is the sawdust <clears throat> sorry. This is the sawdust from the uh, orbital sander. That's the word I'm looking for. It is Let's see. It is an extremely fine powder. It'd be the best stuff to use. The reason for that is 
the scale saw or whatever saw, it'll have long strands of wood and you really don't want that when you're doing this. So, put in a nice amount of sawdust in there. See, this is what you get with a skill saw. Chunk like that. You don't want that. Now we're going to add some glue to this. And the consistency I'm looking for is almost like a silly putty or play-doh or something like that. I want it fairly solid because I don't want to add too much glue. The stain will not... When, when I put this in, into the wood, sand it down, then I go to stain it, like if I was to use a normal stain, this mixture would not absorb the stain properly. If you're using a normal stain, you'd have a dark spot where the stain is, then you'd have the lighter spot to where the glue is because the glue doesn't absorb the, the, the stain as well. That's why I use water because it makes it more pliable so that when I put it in the little squirt bottle there, so when I put it in the little squirt bottle, it'll be able to come out easier. Some people would say wear gloves when doing this, so this way when you get it to that thick putty, you can just put it into the, uh, into the holes, which is one way to do it. I'm not saying it's the wrong way, but it tends to dry very, very quickly. So by the time you go to use your mixture, parts of it could already be dry. It is not a fun process to work with. In fact, I'm going to grab a glove and put it on and mix it together. So this is kind of the consistency that I'm looking for. This might be actually a little too liquidy because of the amount of glue in it. The glue does cause problems when you're trying to use it. Like I said, the stain won't stay. So, just grab a little bit more sawdust. That's more what I'm looking for. I just scoop it and it doesn't stick to anything. Now here's where I add the water to make it easier to work with. Plus it won't dry as quickly so I can use it and take a, take a longer time to use it. What I have here is almost an oatmeal consistency. Ooh, this could work. Okay, see, this is a little too runny. Again, a little bit more sawdust. Much better. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use. So I'm going to use one of these very flexible squeeze bottles. I got this at the dollar store in the uh, baking area. If you can get, if you can get something that's like uh, the syringe style like what you'd use to fill up the jelly donuts, I'd suggest using one of those. But if you're stuck and you can't find anything, this is not gonna work. There we go. Oh, it's gonna work, it's just gonna be way messier than I intended. And probably best do this in cooler temperatures, this way it lasts even longer. So it won't dry as quick in it as if it was a 30 Celsius or what is that? 90 Fahrenheit? Somewhere around there. Mm. 
Not bad, I wasn't even trying and I made almost an entire squeeze bottle. To be honest, I've never done this before so I don't know if it's going to work. This could be either a whole bunch of win or a whole bunch of fail. And I mean this before I've never used a squeeze bottle. I've always used just a small amount. I've never had to fill so many little uh, holes. So well apparently that's not big enough. scraper something like this this is only what one and a half inches just smear it in there I'm not too concerned about the glue spreading all over the place because I'm still gonna take my orbital sander with 40 grit sandpaper and sand this all down one more time. Then I'll take the 120 and go over it again to make it nice and smooth before I get to staining it. So not exactly the prettiest thing right now. Oh, wrong one. As you can see, the shinier spots, that's where the glue is. So I'm really gonna have to sand this down quite well so it doesn't stain the slightly different color. Because there is still a slight difference when I use the steel wool concoction. But otherwise, most of these holes are filled up now. I'll just do the wall separately instead of having you watch me do this. Or, yeah, we'll do one spot together. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, wrong way. Right there. Now, of course, it's gone dark on me. Just a second, let me change a few settings, set you up on a different spot. Okay, have you set up in a different spot so you can see what I'm doing again. You can see there's a pretty large crack here, pretty large crack here. So I'm gonna, s hopefully this works. Sometimes this mixture just flies out, other times not so much. So yeah, that's all I have to do now, throw out all of the walls. <clears throat> so 
So I'll leave it like that for you guys. I'll call it a day, but I'll still continue. So I'll still continue working on all the walls and everything and get all the caulking in place. Caulking. Glue and sawdust. I'll get all the wood filler in place and then I'll show you what then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So hang tight for a couple of hours and I'll see you then. So I finished with the wood filler. It doesn't look very pretty but it doesn't matter because I'm still going to be sanding it down and making it look much better than what it is. Take a look. You know that actually doesn't look too bad but what, you, what I actually see is totally different. Yeah, you don't see how bad it actually is. Well, I can't really say that. I'm just looking on a three inch screen here. There is a couple places I haven't hit yet. In the bathroom here, just full of garbage. Well, not garbage, just full of stuff. But I have a huge gap over there and another one over there. A couple of smaller ones just below that large gap. I'm not too concerned about... Do I have you zoomed in? Yes, I have you zoomed in. I'm not too concerned about this spot here because this is where the fridge is going and I'm not too concerned about this large space here because this were a what's the word I'm looking for this is where a closet is going it took a while to find that word so I had to do a pretty big fill over here probably gonna hit that a second time still kinda wet so that that's good that's why I like adding the water because with just glue and wood it would just get hard really quickly and it's not fun to work with afterwards. So tomorrow, maybe the next day I'll sand this down. You won't, well, I obviously didn't hit this side, this is just a disaster as well. I'm going to have to do some cleanup. I have three or four hours before I can head home. There's going to be a traffic jam pretty much heading to my area of town because there's a hockey game tonight and it will be really congested. So tomorrow I might actually install the, the hot water heater. It's going to go, it's going to go right there and then once I get that in place I can put the plywood backing in place, then I can put the drawers back into place and I'll have this a little cleaner. So that will be out of there, the one up front will be out, the one back here will be out, so yeah. So I'm just going to do some cleanup, get this place ready for tomorrow, we'll see what I do. So until then, have a good one. Catch you next time.